Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this file, and they're stuck together. You can't get them apart. And it is a little bit challenging, but it's not that bad. So I'm going to set my nudge distance on eight inches. I'm going to, con I'm just going to hit the plus sign on the keyboard, and I'm going to make two copies of this thing. One, just to look at after I do this, and two, to if I mess it up, I've still got one. Now I'm going to select the original, go to object, group, and ungroup all. I very seldom ever ungroup all. I'm going to grab that, and you can see this trash. It's not really trash. We're going to need that later. Control G to group that together. I actually made a duplicate, so I'm just going to erase them now. And if you, you know, as long as you nudge, you're good. So now we're going to take this original. It's all broken apart. And we're going to select it, and we're going to left-click, right-click. See, this is the problem he was having. He couldn't get it apart. Well, let's just kind of break it apart with the Smart Fill tool. Let's take our two-point line and do that. Take our Smart Fill tool and fill in that eagle. And nudge it out of the way. And then we can click on this tongue with the Smart Fill tool. Fill that in. And I'm going to nudge it out of the way, and I'm also going to fill in that part of the tongue and nudge it out of the way. We're almost there. Now we've lost some stuff out of the eagle's head, but it's not a problem. So now we can take our eagle, which is basically a smart field, and we can fix this tongue. And I don't know if he wants these together or not, but we can left-click, right-click, left-click, right-click, and in this scenario is a good reason to use the three-point curve line. We'll go from that node to that node and kind of mimic the, the tail or the tongue. Go from that node to that node and just kind of mimic that. And you could make sure it's right. And then take this, take your virtual segment delete key and delete that line. Now we've got a few loose ends there, but that's acceptable. But what we need to do is close those up. So we're going to open the Docker Windows, Docker's Join Curves. And I'm going to shift select this one and grab both those and hit Apply. So I've got this one selected. Hold down the Shift key, select that one, select them both, and hit Apply. What that does, it kind of, and you could spin, if you're doing this for yourself for real, you could, um, you know, maybe even look at it closer and, and we can round those off. These are really pretty good, but we're going to shift select. Maybe we can do them both at one time and we can. Now, this is a good reason to use the, the smoothing tool. We're going to have to make it really little, like 0.1 and just smooth us out this tongue where I was joined together. And there's a, a, a place you could use a lot of time. Now, just take the smart fill tool and fill that in. Now we've probably less lost some parts of the dragon, but because we've nudged and haven't moved anything, we can nudge it right over there, nudge that up, nudge that right over there. Now these two objects are apart, but they are still together. So if you want them together, I would now you can change your nudge factor like to two inches. Nudge this out of the way twice, nudge that out of the way. And now we're done. And then I would group this together, control G, control G. And now you could put the eagle wherever you wanted to on the drawing. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.